colonization was a good thing they did. The conquest and colonization and settling of this land was overall a good and noble and courageous thing. It is good that it happened, and we should be grateful for it. The people who came here and claimed this land were heroes. It was heroic. And they were heroes not because of the other good stuff, but because they came and claimed it. For hundreds of years, this would not have been controversial to say. It would have been perhaps the least controversial thing to say. And now you're not allowed to say it at all. But I will anyway. Well, now, not, not all colonization is good. Not there all are evil forms great. of the practice. For example, the cultural colonization that the left engages in today, when Western governments fly the pride flag on their embassies and try to export you know, the LGBT agenda and gender ideology into Africa and other regions of the world that don't want it, that is a form of ideological colonization, and it's evil. If there is one thing that I really do not like is when people who have no experience about something claim how good that thing has been. When people who haven't experienced the negative impact of something came out and start saying that that thing was for the best and that thing was net positive. Bima made similar claim like this. He said, during the days, during the slave era, anyone who could afford a slave had a slave. And that having a slave was the rule of the day, not the exception. And if that were to be true, wouldn't it be many more people who had slaves than those who do not have slaves. But there were just few people who had many, many slaves, not many people who had slaves. Like the vast majority of the people back then did not have slaves. Just a handful of them had many, many slaves. So you can see that Bima's claim is totally flawed. Candy Owens also said that colonization and slavery, in her own opinion, is net positive, which means there is more positive to those things than negative. And I think she should go to Kenya and talk to those people who lost loved ones when the British clamped down on people who were fighting for their independence. Just go and ask them. Or go to countries in Africa, like the French-speaking African countries, and ask them how much positive impact has French colonization in their country or impacted their lives. Just ask them and hear what they will say. If there is one thing that colonization has done in Africa and to Africans is give them authoritarian leaders who have paid no expense in clamping down on the people and making sure that any sign of revolution is being dealt with severely. That's what colonization gave to Africans. In order for you to really understand certain things, right, you need to talk to the people who have experienced that thing. Or maybe he should come to Africa and ask all the Africans how we feel about colonialism. He should not sit over there as a white guy with white privileges and claiming that colonization was the best thing that ever happened to America. Let's not talk about all the people that was murdered. Let's not talk about all the people that were taken as slaves. Let's not talk about all the looting, the stealing. Let's just look at colonization. And let's all of us just agree that, yes, it was a great thing. 
No, it was a great thing that they came in, they colonized the land, they enslaved the people. But according to Mad Wars, nah, 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 nah. It was all a great thing.